Hi everyone, it's me Darlene at my sewing machine with a different position of my camera. I think I'm going to like this, although I don't know, we'll just see. I am going to embellish at least one of these quilt block party blocks and just thought I would turn the camera on and let you see what I'm doing. It's nothing very special at all, but I'm just having fun with this. Now that it's like a relaxed job and not something that I'm putting pressure on myself to do a certain way. <laughs> okay, I'm just using stuff that I have. I don't see any reason why blue would look nice on this, but blue is going on it. Well, I do have the blue gingham as a cross on this panel. I will um, link down below to the video where I made this. Oh yeah, I probably should explain. Once upon a time, I had a quilt block party and I made 20 blocks all using the same fabrics. They were on a cotton wool blend uh, foundation, which I highly do not recommend. It's just something that I happen to use because I had it. You can really use anything as a foundation. And just again, so you know, a foundation is not the same as a backing. Um, you can see all the stitch lines and everything, so it's just a way to sew the fabric on to a foundation and then you still back it with whatever you want. So you can go catch up on that series. It's down below. It's also on the end screen, but I will also link to the particular blocks that I'm working on as I embellish them. So I think I said everything I need to say. What I'm thinking is because my lines are kind of crooked. I don't know if you can see, but they're kind of crooked. I thought I'm going to put some lace on each side of the cross in both directions, and that will um, take care of that, assuming that I can sew these straight. Gotta change glasses. Ah, much better. So I'm just going to, which way do I wanna go? I think I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna sew on this side. I don't know, looks straight enough to me. I do have clear thread on the top, but I've discovered that if I use regular thread on the bottom, it comes out fine. So I'm just gonna do a zigzag when I sew on lace like that, and it won't even show. But I do wish I knew if I was going to have that straight or not. Maybe I should take the time to pin just a little bit, and I guess I will. Hang on. I don't know how straight that is, but I pinned it a little bit. Okay, here I go. Just checking. Hmm. Okay, we have a problem. Houston. <laughs> Tension must be. Let me go back. Yeah, I still have a problem. Hang on. I had missed putting it in that guy. That was the problem. This was supposed to be relaxing, but uh, so far, not so much. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Very, very crooked. My God, I've got clear thread everywhere. It's, it's, uh, it's really not centered. It's kind of at a slant, and I don't care. Would I like it better? Perfect, yes, but I'm going to uh, like it all right this way. I forgot to turn the camera back on. That's okay, you know what I'm doing. I'm screwing things up, that's what I'm doing. I turned this plain block into an ugly 80s prom dress. <laughs> hey, you know what though? I kind of like that center. It's very different. I like it. I do. I was thinking of putting a button in the center, but I think I'll uh, save like hand sewing things maybe at the end and I can embellish each block more as I see fit. Let's move on to another block. 
with all the ribbon and lace and cords and stuff that I have, I didn't have anything in blue. I would have liked something probably dark blue and I was going to curve it inside these curvy things and try to follow the curve. Oh yeah, let me show you this block. It's this guy. I don't remember what we called it, but again, I will link to it down below. You can see how I made it. I want to do the zigzag thing over a cord again. So I have this white cord. I have different colors. I don't have blue. And it won't really show if I do it on the gingham. So I'm going to do it on the outside and maybe do it like two times on the outside. So what I do is I just put my cord down and I'm just going to start it. And I'm going to zigzag, kind of a wide zigzag. So it will completely go over the cord. And uh, I'm just going to start it to hold it into place. And then I just curve it. It's very easy to do. I don't think you can really see good. Let me move this stuff here. Like moving that's going to help. Oh, maybe I can zoom. Come on and zoom, 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 uh, zoom. Okay, let's see. That's a little bit better. And you just curve it any way you want. And just sew over it. <laughs> My mother just sneezed. And I did this on one of the other ones that I embellished and you guys really liked it. And you can even do this with some ribbons. Some have enough give that you can curve them. Or you can sew straight if you want. Ooh, that was very easy. I mean, I didn't do a perfect job, but it's, you know, a little bit curvy. I wish the curve was more exaggerated. Okay, I'm going to do it again on that same side. I just tried to exaggerate the curve a little bit. I didn't care if it was going in the same direction or not. I mean, in, you know, in the same curvy direction. I kind of like that. I really like the way the cording looks when it's sewn down with clear thread. Try that. You'll like it. Now let's do it. Um, I'm going to do it on the outside and inside of these curves, but let's start with this right here. I'm on a roll. I did two corners. Okay, I'm going to do on the inside now. And I feel like I work better if my cord is to the right of what I'm following. So we're going to go like this. You know, this would be a good way to write somebody's name or something on a quilt. Just form the letters with the cord. I am really liking this. I know you can't see it that good, but with the double lines like that, and that cord has some like glittery sheen to it, it's really cool. I think I'd like to do something on the blue also, but again, I might do just this for now on this block and then move on. I think that's a good way to do it. Do a little bit on a block and then let it go. Move on to the next one. Sometimes if you work too long on one thing, you start to overthink it and then, well, I'm, let's, I'm talking for myself here. I start to overthink it. I start to get tired. I start to screw up and then I'm like, fuck it. I don't like. Let me take the camera off now. I think that's going to be it for tonight, so I'm just going to show these to you. I just really, really like this. 
Ow! Oh, it makes the, um, you know, the strips of fabric just look like they're broken up into tiny pieces. <sighs> Quite happy with how that turned out. And I don't know if I'm going to put something on the blue. Like I said, it's better to not overdo it. And here's the, um, the lace one. See? It's kinda. Kinda funky. I like it. I do. So that is it for tonight. I will be back with more embellishing. I, I have this on my schedule to do this once a week at least until I get all the blocks done. So subscribe. You won't miss future videos of me doing this stuff and uh, a lot of other things that you can watch too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!